campers. Today I want to go over this 2023 Taxa Mantis. Check this thing out. Right now we are in travel mode. I'm going to go inside and pop this thing open and show you what it looks like opened up and how quick it is to do it. All right, right now I want to show you how to open up this trailer. It's in travel mode as we speak. You can see I can easily maneuver around in here, get in here to eat some food, reach anything that I need to from my camper, or sit down, sleep, anything to that extent. But when I'm ready to pop it open, this is what we do. We have two red latches on the, ex on the outside. Push in the red latch, pop it open, unlatch the top part from the little uh, D-ring. Once you get both sides unlatched, just push on the top. There it goes. Now you are popped right open and it takes mm, literally seconds. And now I'm 6'2", and I literally have at least a foot above me, if not right around a foot. Starting right up front with this Mantis, we have a two inch ball with a removable wheel, the safety chains, and the seven pin round wiring with a protector here. This is a pretty neat little feature, but it is much easier with two hands. Next, we go up into the dual 20 pound propane tanks. That is an awesome feature for such a small unit. All right, now that we're done with the front, we'll go over onto the side. Just want to point out that we do have four stabilizer jacks at each corner. Then we're getting into the dump station for your drains or your gray water. Above, we have our Truma exhaust, which is our heat and a hot water exhaust. Then you have your portable water intake, your power. This is the exhaust for your battery that's inside, which would mean that you either have AGM or lithium. And then this is a solar power, solar port. Fancy wheels underneath. They are nice aluminum wheels with a nice uh, Goodyear Wrangler tires. They are 235, 75, 15 all-terrain tire. The green valve stem means you're filled with nitrogen. Right over here is our water or your outside shower with hot and cold water. Now we're going over here into our air conditioner. I just want to show you what I did was I just opened it up. Now I can go inside, and when we do the inside tour, I'll push that out and show you guys how you can access more room in there, but also get more air circulating through this to give it better BTU and better circulation through the air conditioner. Right over here is your portable water as well. So again, it does say portable water only. Also over here, portable water as well. This connection right here is when you're at the campground or you're at your house and you're trying, you already have pressure. Whereas this one over on the other side is when you're filling your fresh water tank and using your water heater. On this one, we do have the rooftop tent above. Right here is your ladder on the back. You can see you have footsteps here and going right up and you do actually have a handle up top then to show you on top of the roof you know that's your roof rack uh, tent, uh, your tent roof rack and then you can see the foot top I actually have some ZAMP solar panels that came with this one so, and those are actually the briefcase style that connect into your ports on the side. So you can put that out underneath the sun as you park this beast underneath the shade. So, visibly from the back, 
Awesome view. Say you're sitting at the beach, you pop this thing open, use the tailgate for relaxing. Just show us the table. Underneath is a spare tire. Just to show you the gate. Nice big window, nice heavy duty latches, all LED lights. All real metal, riveted on, nothing cheap. All right, then over onto the side, nice windows. These are all dual pane windows, bag awning up top. And then we'll go inside and check out the interior. As we walk into the interior, the first thing I want to do is just show you guys the door. There's tie down spots and handles like this right here is a handle for the door. Spots to hang things or even you know, simple things like toothbrush. I know this is the wrong spot, but just giving you guys ideas. You can put anything in these little, uh, little holes. And they're all over the camper. You can use them with carabiners, use them for anything. Uh, the imagination is endless, so use it. Also, you can see the little bugs. I love how they do that with all their campers. That's a little mantis in there. Now, going right up front, we've got our bed system. This turns into a uh, bunk bed, but also a beautiful, comfortable sofa. Then getting into the new flex area. The flex area has the cassette toilet area here with a table that you can use for your desk. Then all this pops out of the way and you have your shower. Up top, there's four carabiners and you can attach your shower curtain. So the shower curtain comes right down and you can take your shower in here or you have a curtain to use your porta potty. All right, now, and you're seeing all these beautiful cabinets made with real wood. Very, very, very high end. Stainless steel sink. Cabinet or shelf over here. All right here's your two burner stove. Then we go into the AC unit. And just as I said, again, all it's doing is giving you more airflow, a little bit more room in here, and still that low profile while you're driving. Now underneath, we have all of our storage. Simple as this, guys crates to come out there's three of them going into our fuse box over here and our vents and then our spot for the batteries there's a spot for two lithium or AGM batteries down below then we're getting over into the Water heater down below here, carbon monoxide detector below, more storage here. Right here's your whole system on the Truma system and your hot water, fuses, 12 volt plugs, battery disconnect switch here. Now across from that, We have our all of our lights over here when we first enter with our 12 volt plug here, USB. There we go. Then all of our different lights. These are all the fuses for each of them. Down below we have a spot for the paperwork or the maps. Again, all these little holes that we can hang things from. 
Then over into more storage with three more of these. They're all the same size. These hold them into place, the bungee cords. Then this huge plastic, you know, I would assume that it's a garbage can, but it can be used for anything. Then we're going into the huge cooler. This is a 12 volt fridge. It's a cooler style fridge, 45 liter. Made by Dometic, so they're not going cheap. They're going all name brand in these. Now we're going into the windows. How you can see how the windows have the blinds coming from the top, screens coming from below. And into the bed area. This would be the main bed area, which is a beautiful U shaped dinette. This bed folds right out. Bunch of storage underneath. So that's all storage under here. And all storage under here. And all underneath the back too. So it's all storage everywhere that they can put it. Now I wanna show you how this table and bed work. All right, so this camper has two different beds slash seating areas. Right now I wanna take and show you guys like the master bed or the nice queen size bed up front. So what we're doing is we're taking out this table. First, there's a little, little switch up here that we gotta open, push the switch in to open up the latch for the tabletop. And then just turn the tabletop until it pops right off. Next, we've got to take out the table leg. In order to do that, you push on this little black button with your foot and turn it until it comes right off. There's a table leg. Then, take the tabletop. Find the extra cushion, and right there is your queen size bed. So on the inside, we're sitting right here in the beautiful little sofa area. I just want to show you something cool. Move this little table out of the way, and if I want to sleep another person, I can just flip this backing right up. Connect the carabiners on both sides. I've got a bunk. These do hold 100. The bunk holds 185 pounds. Now I'll put it back into the regular bed or the regular sofa. Unclip the carabiners on both sides. And it drops right back down into the back of your sofa.